Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines, the British Challenge with me, Pug Gaming. So as promised, the next project is the British Castle and the first job was to find a location to whereabouts to put this. So I thought we'll put it right by our golf course and extend the lake that we've already created in previous episodes and just create a sort of an island I guess um, to house the, the castle and sort of surrounding areas. Now my first challenge was to get to grips with terraforming which is one thing I have not really done much of um, both streaming both anything really I haven't really had chance to get into it and the first challenge was really to sort of get this into a sort of cliffy area around the outsides and as you see from the time lapse here the first area I created was far too big to house a castle it was going to be more of a sort of a, a small city to fit in that area so I've transferred this down half the size of it and we've gone a, kind of gone for a few tiers here there's full of three tiers in general so we've got the sort of beach entrance area to the island followed by a sort of medium middle tier and then there's a top tier which is slightly high elevated and that's where the castle will be sitting so after watching a few videos on YouTube of terraforming and also a bit of trial and error I've managed to get some quite nice cliff faces on one side of the island I wanted to have some sort of mini sort of rocky areas around the outside as well and the final result isn't too bad I'm sure I could have done better but this is what we've got to play with for our castle so as you can see this is going to be the beach area when we first enter the area and then we've got the second tier which is just a little area around the sides and then the highest peak of the um, island is going to be where the castle is situated and it's going to take up the majority of that area with walls around it and sort of creating the sort of fortress theme. So once that was completed the next job was to sort of get an idea on what castles are out in the workshop and I went through about 10 or so and there are some great ones on there but I wanted to go with a sort of a ruined feeling so I've gone for these units from the workshop um, just to give me some inspiration really we're not going to use all of them it's just really these are the best ones I've found um, so we're going to jump into a time lapse quickly here this is just a bit of detailing around the cliff faces adding some foliage around and a bit of uh, surface painting etc so we'll catch up shortly Now I want to jump into a quick live play here because there's a few things that have been going through my head recently with the addition to the amazing new mod on the workshop Move It by Sam Sam. But I've been watching quite a lot of the Planet Coaster series and using this new mod you can very much do similar things to what you can on Planet Coaster and Planet Coaster is all about the detailing and making your own buildings up and I had a few ideas here with this uh, wall um, asset on the workshop and I wanted to combine a few together here to create a sort of gate entrance to this main, well to the area I guess and I was thinking what we could do, we can add a few walls around this and sort of create a, a focal point as you come into the castle area. So I've combined these two towers with a gate entrance here and using the move it mod you can get it exactly how you want so overlapping so there's no gaps at all and it looks like it's a, a single modular build which is what is amazing about this mod and I'll be taking full advantage of this in, in future projects as well. But what we're going to do here we're going to add a wall as well so if we find a suitable wall and da -da -da. Uh, there we go. So we want the low ones rather than the high. Yep. 
Okay. So now it's just going to be a case of using the move it mod and just placing this in the, the best position possible really. So we'll put it down there. And I know ideally this would probably be going around the whole of the area but we're just going to close it off here so this is still the only way into the actual island from from land obviously you could swim across if you really really wanted to but that's not the case in this scenario so we'll do the same on the other side so I know you can drop this with the standard features in the game but once you start using the move it tool you can really really align things up nicely okay and you can also see what sort of uh, results you can get from how you place it because obviously you can overlap and do anything you want really here so they look pretty good so we're going to go for some straight walls down both sides let's find those so we want the, the smaller ones here not that small, no. There we go, that's the one. So just make sure that we've got... That's going to be too long, I think, isn't it? I'll go for the short ones and put them on top of each other here. So yeah, obviously you've got to rotate that round so it fits. Okay. So not too sure if these walls are meant to be the other way around in terms of how it's uh, being placed here, but I like the look of having this little edge around here. It looks, it makes it look a lot more appealing, and the front we've done like that anyway, so it carries on that theme. Let's do the same to the other side to see how many we can fit down here. I'm hoping we can get at least two or three. Three would be good. This side probably only three. Let's get that lined up perfect and we'll copy this side and go down one more if we can uh, to about there is all we can go to swing that around that's a good thing about this move it tool even though you could see it first I couldn't place it in this area now I've got the move it tool um, on I can move it around and pretty much place it anywhere I know sometimes if you place things a little bit too far away from where it should be able to be placed it does bring the land up as you saw just then but that's not such an issue really here that works okay for me I'd rather have it looking more realistic and the land going up a little bit than um, gaping big holes around the side where you could literally just walk around and not have to go through the front entrance. Okay, we're going to jump into another Let's Play in this area here and I found a good way here to basically cover up the doors. So it looks like it was once a door but it's been bricked up so all you need to do is get one of the um, placements here of the wall and pretty much just place it over the door and so long as you get the distance right with the move it tool you can just about get it so the arch is visible and then you get that sort of look that you tend to see in these sort of areas where it's open to the public where there was once a door here but we bricked it up because there's no need for it now so we'll do the same again on the other side And we've also overlapped a little bit here as well, so we can uh, get a better feeling of the uh, bridge. But here we go. So you can see, you can see the bridge. Sorry, the bridge. The bricks just coming out now. When you get to that level, if we twist this a little bit as well, bring that back forward. There we go. So we just want it so it's just visible. So you can just about make out that it was once a door there, but it's been bricked up. 
So that's pretty much that. We're just going to do a bit of detail around this area and the castle. So we'll jump into a time lapse for that and we'll catch up again shortly.
Okay, so on the same sort of scale and idea as we had on the previous um, entrance, we're going to do the same here, but we're going to create our own towers using four of these um, these uh, assets. And again, very much like what we did earlier, we are just adding them all around. I know we have to make sure these are straight shortly by using the Move It tool, but you get the idea of what we're doing here. We're just creating our own tower. And I do like doing this. It's a much different way of playing the game. And it's also going back into the conversation earlier about the Planet Coaster sort of feeling that this game now has and the level of detail and sort of what you're able to do now is opened up massively by, by this mod. And I don't think many people realize how much this has opened up the game. But as you can see, we can open it up massively by creating our own assets within games as well, which is absolutely incredible. So let's do the same again on the other side. As you can see, we just got a bit of tweaking here just to level things out. It's not as easy, I'll admit that, but once you've got each part in the right location, it does look absolutely amazing. So we'll put one there bring this one out not too sure if it's easier to place them all down or what really but um, we'll do this this way this time and again just here just needs a bit of rotation I think there we go and the last one into this corner here Perfect. As you can see, look at that. The only thing that we need to sort out here is the land itself. As you can see, these aren't quite looking right. But first, let's put in another bridge, just to just to make things a little bit more um, connected up here. Ideally, we'd like one across the middle as well to create a proper walkway bridge but we haven't got anything we can use and I think if we put more of these over it's going to look a bit silly with the um, plates on the top there but as you can see it looks like it's come from the workshop but we built this all ourselves by hand and all that's left to do now is a tiny bit of terraforming just to get this land back to level and we should look to see a much squarer shape so if we just bring this down, as you can see, as soon as we do that, everything levels up. And that looks absolutely amazing in my opinion. A great way to make your own modular designs within the game. So the only thing that I'm considering now is, do we do this wall layout all the way around the whole of the, the, whole of the um, castle? I love this. I do love this um, design, but it's not the same as the castle, and I'm not sure if that's going to look a bit silly. Um, so I'm going to need your feedback here, guys. Like I say, this is going to be part one of a two-part project for the um, castle. Um, what I've done here is I've gone round some of the area with um, these walls, but like I say, I'm not sure whether. It's going to look right if we go all the way around the whole building. A few people have commented um, also that obviously the castle walls are all deteriorated and ruined, but this is perfectly built. So the contrast between the two might not suit, but let me know your thoughts, guys. And here's a quick overview of what we've done today. So another thing I'd like to hear your feedback on, guys, is I'm thinking of maybe putting some other sort of buildings around the outside of the castle walls. Uh, maybe on the first tier down the bottom we'll actually will have some proper houses or something like that or do we leave it all alone and just have this as a sort of focal point for people to come and visit let me know your thoughts and I'll catch you in my next video all the best